Costa Rica is a nature lover's paradise and one of the most biologically diverse countries on the planet. While only the size of Denmark or West Virginia, it has 4% of all species on Earth within its borders. Costa Rica is especially rich in bird life. With over 940 species of birds, about 9% of all the birds in the world have been seen here. And Costa Rica is a top destination for bird watchers. While visitors to Costa Rica love to watch quetzals, macaws, and the colorful tanagers that inhabit the rainforests here, hummingbirds are always popular for bird watchers and photographers. Costa Rica has 53 species of hummingbirds throughout the country, and 29 of those can be seen in one location. Here at Taper Valley Nature Reserve in northern Costa Rica, near the town of Bihagua. Taper Valley is an 85-hectare preserve that is unique because of its location and diversity of habitat. Nestled at the base of Volcan Tenorio, it's on the boundary of both the Caribbean and Pacific slopes of Costa Rica. This transitional zone means that you can see birds from both bioregions in one location. Taper Valley's elevation also means that there are many altitudinal migrants that move up and down the mountains through the valley during the wet and dry seasons. But the key to Taper Valley's diversity is the number of different habitats that you can find here. This is why Taper Valley is pretty amazing. The reserve has at least six different types of unique habitat. Primary forests, secondary forests, restoration forests, there is the wetland, the creek, and also the forest edge. So that allows a lot of fauna to move around as they like. So we have to remember that Tapio Valley has more than one kilometer um, border with the national park. So the forest that we see here is a continuous forest for another 18,000 hectares of land. Let's take a tour of Taper Valley and look at some of the incredible hummingbirds that you can see here during a day of bird watching. We start our hummingbird tour right near the reception area. The garden here is one of the best hummingbird spots in all of Taper Valley. The first hummingbird you'll see, and the most common throughout most of Costa Rica, is the ubiquitous rufous-tailed hummingbird. These are large, loud, territorial hummingbirds, and you'll often see their rufous tail as they chase all of the other hummingbirds away from the flowers. Even though they are common, they're beautiful, and you'll see dozens during your day at the reserve. There are three very special species of hummingbirds at Taper Valley that share this space with the rufous-tailed. The blue-throated golden tails are spectacular, medium-sized hummingbirds that love the open habitat and gardens here at Taper Valley. They're a bit smaller than the rufous-tailed hummingbird, and you can identify them by their bright red bill, their blue throat, and, if they perch just right, their fabulous golden tail. The snowcap is a little easier to identify. You'll first see these as a brilliant spot of pure white flitting through the flowers. This very special hummingbird is on the wish list of many birders, and Taper Valley is one of the best places in Costa Rica to see these birds up close. Snowcaps are a Caribbean slope species, and Taper Valley is the furthest location to the west where you can see them. Snowcaps are solitary and territorial, so you'll usually only see one single bird or mated pair in an area, and because they're the smallest hummingbird at Taper Valley, they often get bullied by all of the other hummingbirds. During the busy nesting season, the males will make the rounds of their territory, coming in quickly to nectar on flowers on a regular schedule, but not spending much time in one area. They have a roost that they like near their nest so that they can survey their domain for interlopers. In the slower wet season, the snowcap can be very easy to see as they become quite sedentary and will find a perch they like and will spend hours or even days in this one spot. The female snowcap is even smaller and she's lovely but much less dramatic than her mate. Another popular hummingbird in Costa Rica and a year-round resident at Taper Valley is the aptly named Black-Crested Coquette. This is another Caribbean slope hummingbird that is found at Taper Valley in its most western location. These diminutive birds are just a bit larger than the snowcap, so they're also lower on the hierarchy of nectar feeders and are often chased away from flowers by rufous-tailed hummingbirds. 
These hummingbirds are so small that it's easy to confuse them with a bee when you first see them. They're very methodical with their feeding on nectar, making it easier to photograph these birds than some of the other, more frenetic feeders. The distinctive crest is only present on the male. The female is a little less showy, but equally beautiful. If you're lucky, a male will perch in the open for you, showing off his crest and brilliant head and gorget. The garden is also a great place to see the violet-headed hummingbird. These are common in northern Costa Rica, but the range of this bird extends from Honduras to the foothills of the Amazon River Basin. These delicate hummingbirds are just a little larger than the coquette, and they love nectaring out in the open, providing great photo opportunities. During nesting season, you can hear the males lecking higher up in the secondary forest, calling for hours at a time. Violet-headed hummingbirds build their nest just a meter or two above the water in the creek that runs through Taper Valley, making it more difficult for predators to find the young. There are two violet ears that we can see in the gardens here at Taper Valley, the brown violet ear and the lesser violet ear. The brown violet ear is here year-round. It's a large brown hummingbird with distinctive blue feathers under the eye and a brilliant iridescent gorget. The lesser violet ear is a spectacular hummingbird. When guarding its territory, it will flare its ears out as a warning to other hummingbirds. It's a migrant through this area, and these are much less common here at Taper Valley. There are a few other migrant hummingbirds that we see only part of the year. The green thorntail is a high elevation bird that will make an appearance here when it's cold and wet higher in the mountains. The magenta-throated woodstar is a very special Pacific slope species that usually is found at higher elevations. Right on the edge of its normal range, we see this bird every once in a while here at Taper Valley. The coppery-headed emerald is a Costa Rica endemic and is usually found on the Caribbean slope at higher elevations. Some of the other migrant visitors that can be seen in the gardens include the striped-tailed hummingbird, green-crowned brilliant, and stunning purple-throated mountain gem. As we move deeper into the reserve to the lagoon and secondary forest, we find some new hummingbirds that prefer forest habitat. The white-necked Jacobin is a common bird here at Taper Valley, and one that prefers the habitat near the lagoon and creek. It is a striking hummingbird with an iridescent blue head, white chest, and green back. And this bird is easily recognizable and a favorite among bird watchers. The scaly-breasted hummingbird is a large hummingbird that is easy to see near one of our viewing platforms. The bronze-tailed plumetier prefers the secondary forest, and likes to roost near another one of our viewing platforms. This large hummingbird can be distinguished by its bright red feet. As we move into the primary forest and riparian zone, we find the five species in the family of hummingbirds known as hermits. These are forest-dwelling birds, even though they do come out on the edges occasionally to nectar on flowers. Four of these are year-round visitors here at Taper Valley. The green hermit is a large hummingbird, known for its striking metallic green plumage and long, decurved bill. This hermit is unique for its strong preference for the undergrowth and shaded areas of the forest, where it expertly hovers to feed on nectar from tubular flowers. At certain times of year, you can hear the males calling all day on lex as they look for a mate. The long-billed hermit is an aptly named species boasting an extremely long and curved bill. This distinctive feature allows it to feed on specialized long-tubed flowers that other hummingbirds cannot reach. The stripe-throated hermit is a small, agile hummingbird that also lives in the forest here at Taper Valley. The band-tailed barb throat stands out for its unique tail band, which is a broad white band across the base of its dark, iridescent tail feathers. This species also sports a prominent white malar stripe and a slightly decurved bill. It is known for its ability to hover silently while feeding on nectar, making it a stealthy inhabitant of the understory. And finally, let's end our tour of hummingbirds of Taper Valley with one of the most special birds of the tropics, 
the white-tipped sicklebill. White-tipped sicklebills have evolved to nectar almost exclusively on the heliconia flower, and they require primary forest habitat with a creek or stream for nesting. The riparian zone with the heliconia's grove at Taper Valley is the perfect location for a pair of these amazing hummingbirds. These birds have a very carefully monitored territory, and they work their way from heliconias to heliconias in a regular pattern. If you're patient and wait, eventually one of these hummingbirds will perch for a second to nectar before it moves on. These birds nectar differently from other hummingbirds, as they actually perch on the flower while drinking. Taper Valley Nature Reserve is truly a hummingbird paradise, home to a diverse range of species that thrive thanks to the conservation efforts of dedicated scientists and volunteers. But Taper Valley is more than just a haven for hummingbirds. It's a symbol of hope for conservationists around the world. By protecting these fragile ecosystems, we can ensure a brighter future for our planet and all the incredible creatures that call it home. So let us all take a moment to appreciate the beauty and wonder of the natural world and work together to preserve it for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Taper Valley Nature Reserve.